The protesters were outside today saying no to nuclear, while the councillors were inside in Cabinet, simply saying there's no decision. <laughs> what do we want? No no new new when do we want it? Now. No. The issue is this, a government proposal to store high-level nuclear waste underground. The most likely site would be the Sillith or Eskdale areas of Cumbria. It would be between 200 to 1,000 metres below the surface. It would also be immense, anywhere from one to four times the size of Sellafield. And it would require the removal of the same amount of rock as the Channel Tunnel. While the councils remain undecided, opponents are clear. West Cumbria's geology is too leaky for radioactive waste, and any delay in saying no is a waste of time and money. We're just going today to demonstrate and to try and persuade them to reconsider and to give a no vote um, and not delay for another three months and waste another further, you know, taxpayers' money. Um, it's just ridiculous. The three councils have a report to consider, produced by the West Cumbria Managing Radioactive Waste Safely Group, and they want more time. The decisions will be taken by the cabinets uh, of the three authorities and they'll be taken on the day and what we're doing at the moment is still collecting as much information and advice as we can. Um, that's the reason for the deferral because uh, government want to provide us with more information about some of the key concerns. Is it that complex an issue? It's a very complex issue. We've been at this for around about uh, three years so far. It's a unique uh, process. It's government's process. And the report was quite clear. We need more information about some key areas before we can make a decision either way. Today, the protesters were allowed to address Cabinet about their concerns. They'll be back with their placards in January to hear the result. Andy Byrne, Carlisle.